Charles Darwin changed forever our understanding of life on Earth. As he later recalled, he owed his achievements in science to the five-year voyage on the Beagle around the world. We tend to think of him as the bearded old man, but the Darwin of the Beagle was a 22-year-old Cambridge graduate. It all began in 1831. Victoria would not come to the throne for another six years, and Darwin was just a promising young gentleman naturalist, invited as a companion to Captain Fitzroy. I had been wandering about North Wales on a geological tour when I arrived home on the 29th of August, 1831. My sisters informed me of the letters offering to me the place in the Beagle. I immediately said I would go, but the next morning, finding my father so much averse to the whole plan, I wrote to refuse the offer. chiefly employed in painting the forepart and fitting up the cabins. The last time I saw her in September, she was in the dockyard and looked more like a wreck than a vessel commissioned to go around the world. 26th of October, wet, cold day. Went on board, found the carpenters busy fitting up the drawers in the poop cabin. My own private corner looks so small that I cannot help fearing that many of my things must be left behind. But Captain Fitzroy is such an effectual and good-natured contriver that the very drawers enlarge on his appearance and all difficulties smooth away. 21st of November. Carried all my books and instruments on board the Beagle. For the first time, I felt a fine naval fervor. Nobody could look at her without admiration. About six o'clock, a marine, being drunk and whilst crossing from the hulk to another vessel, slipped overboard and was not seen again. His body has not been found. 